with the presumption debate where we have our framing arguments. Okay. Because I'm going to fuck the order up, and I'm telling you that right now. Quotidian, 
office prison, the contingent, moment for white supporters, which means that they are wanting any of their kind of resiliency to turn on the out that proves that they want to see as a necessary because they're creating a disturbance to the ways in which codification happens on top of blackout. We're going to flush, but they say part of no, it's fucking wanting to see the ways that we are winning the King 19 in this debate is fucking over because they're able to code on top of black, create designations that they're no longer part of, which means that we're never able to test the delay. See, now left arguments to debate on keyboard, you should give me the fucking ballot high fucking specific question for the ways of not making you all come your one argument, but also to the ways in which they're reimbursed for the script to fame for recognition, but rather it says the ways in which you don't save black potty, she don't want to be saved, don't save her. The ways in which black is saved, your reclamation over identified the ways in which you're able to prescribe this uh, debate that only lives at a spot. Let the white be fluid. We give a direct claim. We are a refusal of the logistical nature of those trips. Uh, we have four forty five. Uh, give us uh, one sec to show them. Yeah, we're gonna start right there. Um,
the critique in another case. The case. 
The 1AC should be unconditional if you fundamentally can't draw it in straight line between the 2AC, 1AC, the 1AR, and 2AR, then you shouldn't hold it against me because I don't get a 3AR argument. So the 1AR doesn't go for any defense, so discomfort just kind of makes sense. So our offense should be sufficient to vote negatively comfort. I mean, white people love to be uncomfortable, which is not ancient to the 1AR argument that it creates a form of white masculism where they can fundamentally simulate the ability to have the racial, the racial hierarchy flipped, which creates a comfortable distance, which only wrapped in by affirmative anecdote. The disability debate is largely conceded in the 1AR. The psyche evidence is fundamentally not responsive because blackness doesn't determine disability, nor does any of the evidence theorize, or rather, their articulation practices embodied as predicated off of feeling within this room and discovered and obviously still lives because it's predicated off of producing an understanding of affective and empathetic responses that's produced in the body. The ability to capture an affect and translate it in the political dialogue and exchange for about is not neutral, but in and of itself relied on moments of visual interpolation that depend on being able to manipulate your body and perform ways that actually express your desires. Slightly says that when the body ceases to actually express itself as comfortable, i.e. shifting in your seat, refusing eye contact, bodily moves, that could be any number of reasons like how your mental illness become interpolated into discomfort, which replicates ableist readings of the body as a neutral space to perform our secret evidence is their method of the one you see itself relies on the capacity to perform and is firstly produce liberation strategies. This all ultimately links to our Campbell albums, which in fact turn to the self-policing arguments because those who back out and get to go the uh, communality that is spurred by the affirmative politics need to police themselves in order to hide their true selves in order to have passing in order to get access to their community in the first place. This fundamental impact turns the entire ability for the affirmative to any create a form of kinship argument because it's only predicated off of the passing of black disabled women in the first place. Which fundamentally is the reason why you should uh, internally turn the affirmative. The only impact that they've indicated that they resolve for the 2AC is internalized policing. The only effect they've internalized they solve for in the money yard is just getting the belt. That is totally destructive that you should not vote for. It was what? Three. 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 Three.
KPA. Why the ass specifically in this debate round leads 
from the weaponization of resiliency in the first place, nor also too they do not have an answer to the dishad that talks about the ways in which they become the arbiter and the method of the arbiter of it, and they become the arbiter of what a resilient subject and a non-resilient subject is, which is why Jasmine goes hard about the 2AC over the 2AC process because they pathologize and overcome the global south as not being productive enough, which in turn link turns all their inter intervention arguments because they're the ones that lead and sort of pathologize the global south as not being resilient without understanding the ways in which the people in the favelas are literally criminalized in Brazil in the status quo because they are seen as being too productive in the first place, but also too, furthermore, the facts that it is which I will answer here, our argument is not about, which was already answered in the water, it's not a question about the idea that we sort of pathologize folks that are not considered resilient enough. Our argument has always been, it's a subjective interpretation of intrinsic value, which means that our form of intercommunal sort of intergenerational archive is not about holding other people accountable, but how they remove themselves from external validation tropes. Turn off the street. Right. 